This is the Sunday School lesson for Sunday, February the 12th in the year 2023. Isaac is promised and born. So God had talked to Abraham before and God had told him to go to a new place and he told him to where he was supposed to go to when he got there, remember? And then the second Abraham story, Abraham and Lot divided up the land and Abraham let Lot choose first and Lot went down into the valley and stayed by the cities but didn't go in and now Abraham is much older maybe maybe 75 85 something like that and God says to him do not be afraid I am your shield and I am your reward and Abraham dares to talk to God and said if I am favored by you, why is it that Sarai and I have never had any children? Do you know that when I die, Eliezer, who's my best servant, is going to inherit everything that I have? And God said, no, this isn't true. You're going to have a son yet. And you're going to have as many grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren, as there are the stars in the sky. And Abraham believed God, and God took his belief as righteousness and then um, Abraham made a sacrifice to God and he laid out all of these animals and he waited for God to come and it got dark and he started swishing the birds away from when it land on the animals and then he saw a fire pot come down through whoosh through right all through scooped up all of those animals and he knew that God was making a promise with him that would not be broken and God said your people your children great great grandchildren those people are going to live in a foreign country for 400 years and in the fourth generation they're going to come back here and I'm going to give them this land so Abraham believed and God did not give him a son and he waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. And then he was 99 years old. And God appeared to him again. He said, I am God, am I, God Almighty. You walk before me and you be blameless. And I will increase your numbers. And Abram, Abram fell face down. And God said, I will make you the father of many nations. Change your name from Abram to Abraham and change your wife's name Sarai to Sarah because she is going to be the mother of many nations and I am going to bless her and she is going to have a baby boy and Abraham just lay down on the ground and laughed <laughs> I'm 99 years old I'll be 100 years old my wife is going to be 90 we're going to have a baby this is just funny Lord and he laughed and laughed and laughed and then soon after that these three visitors came up through the hills and he could see them coming and he knew they were special and he ran down and he bowed down to them and he said you come and stay at my house and they came to his tent and he said uh, let me get some water to wash your feet and let me make you a meal so they sat down under the tree near his tent and he got water and he washed their feet. And then he told Sarai to make Sarah, because he's changed her name, to make um, some bread for them. And they got some curds and milk, like cottage cheese maybe, for them to eat. And then he had his servant kill a calf and they cooked the meat and fed these three guys. And it was God. It was God. One of them at least is God. It might be God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It might be two angels and God. But they, right, they were God or God was there. The end of the meal, God said, I'm going to come back this time next year. Where is Sarah anyways? And he says, she's in that tent. And he said, I'm going to come back this time next year and Sarah is going to be nursing a baby. And Sarah was listening. And she just started to laugh. 
This is such a strange story. I'm 90 years old. I can't have a baby. Oh, this is such a strange idea. And God said to Sarah, why did you laugh? Is my arm too short? Is there anything too hard for the Lord to do? And she said, oh, I didn't laugh. And God said, oh, yes, you did. Well, 10 months later, what do you think? There was this little baby and they named the baby Laughter. That was the name that God had picked for him because Abraham laughed at the thought that they could have a baby. And Sarah laughed at the thought that they could have a baby. And yet they did have a baby and they named him Laughter or Laughing Boy. And his name is Isaac. And from him, all of the Jewish nation will come. And Jesus will come, right? Because Jesus was a Jew. For with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Dear Father God, when we think that the thing that we need you to do is too hard for you to do, you just laugh at us. Because your arm is not too short. And you can do anything. There is nothing impossible for you. We ask, O oh Lord, for the miracles that we need in our lives this day. In Jesus' name, amen.